the first detection of a stellar light in a quasar host galaxy in early universe. <laughs> That's too long. <laughs> <laughs> special about it is uh, Quasar live in a very early universe which is just one billion years after the Big Bang. The, a large galaxy like our Milky Way galaxy all have a supermassive black hole in the center. And uh, Quasar is the uh, most active uh, phase of our supermassive black hole and accreting a lot of gas from the surrounding and they emit a lot of energies. And supermassive black hole, we don't know actually how they form and grow. And uh, the small hint about it is uh, in, at least in local universe, um, the mass ratio between uh, black hole and the host galaxies are more or less, more or less the same. And, uh, so that, that is to say, um, big black hole live in a bigger galaxies, a small black hole live in a small galaxies. These two things are interacting each other. But how they interact each other is um, still a mystery. It could be useful is to go back in time and uh, look at uh, uh, supermassive black holes and galaxies at the early universe. The people in IPMU in Japan developed a special technique to separate the quasar light and the galaxy light and applied their technique to the latest the James Webb data. And they managed to um, measure the starlight from the host galaxies and measure the mass of the galaxies. And also using a spectroscopic technique, uh, they measured also well, we measured also the uh, mass of the black hole. So we don't know the exactly how black hole and the galaxy interact with each other. Probably um, radiation or energy output from supermassive black hole can uh, affect the growth of the galaxy, like a star formation. In our universe, the condition of the universe is different because uh, the first star don't have a uh, metal because the uh, um, early universe is basically hydrogen. Mm -hmm. So the formation process of galaxies is totally different in early universe and uh, the recent universe. And that's the same for black hole growth. The surprise is that the ratio is the same even though the conditions are very different. Yes. Okay.